Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at Assassin's Creed Shadows on my Steam Deck Steam OS. So this game just came out yesterday and this is my Steam Deck home screen. I'm going to load into Ubisoft Connect, okay, because I've got the Ubisoft Connect version. So you're probably wondering why I don't have the Steam version if I am playing on the Steam Deck. Well, actually I got this game, I pre-ordered it and I got it way cheap. I got it almost 30% off. So check out this video. I got it from Instant Gaming. Okay, and yeah, unfortunately for me, Instant Gaming, uh, in my region, it didn't have the Steam version for sale. It only had the Ubisoft version, uh, but it was 30% off. So, you know, I don't mind because it still works the same on the Steam Deck. Uh, and I can get trainers working. So I'll show you. I'm going to use a trainer. Uh, like some people ask me, how do you get trainers working on your Steam Deck if you're not playing the Steam version? If you're playing, you know, uh, Ubisoft Connect or EA or Rockstar. Uh, if you're playing with Lutris, Heroic Games Launcher. Okay, so I'm going to show you that today. Okay, and the trainer that I'm using today is called Mod Engine. I think I've already got it installed. You can see here, I can switch between Windows, Mod Engine, and Ubisoft Connect. So this is the trainer that I've already got loaded. I'll show you how to get it up and running. But now let's, uh, so I'm using the game launcher, so Ubisoft Connect, and I've got the game. So I'm gonna load the game, load the game, and make sure you on like Steam. So make sure on Steam, you've got your here system. Make sure enable developer mode is checked. Okay, so once you've got that checked and if you load two programs, if you load two programs, you can actually like, switch between windows here, switch windows. So I need to switch to Mod Engine and here in Mod Engine, you won't be able to move your controls. What you need to do, press and hold the Steam button, use your right touchpad as mouse, okay? And then go over to the search bar here and use the R2 as left mouse click. And then press and hold Steam button. Oops. Press and hold Steam button and press X. Brings out the virtual keyboard and we're going to search for our game. So, Assassins. Without the apostrophe. Assassins. Breed. And then Shadows. Alright, we found it. And then I'm going to select the game. Okay, it's loading. Version 1.0 right now. Okay, it's a brand new game. And then here, once you're here... Go to select game process, click on it, and then nothing happens, but you press the Steam button again, and you can see we've got another window, process list. Okay, go to it, and then select assassin ac shadows.exe. Okay, select that. Once you've got your game selected, the process is selected. Okay, let me move my camera. Oops. So once I move my camera, you can see on the right hand side, process selected says acshadows.exe and then hyphen a bunch of numbers. Yeah, that's what you want. What you want, the game's hooked now. And now let's go back and then we can do like infinite health, stuff like that. Let's try infinite health. So click on it. If you don't have the pro membership, so this trainer is free to use, but um, if it's free, you have to press the hotkey. So you probably have to map one of your keys to F1. So what you do, press the Steam button. Go to controller settings, what you normally should do, and then uh, enable back grip buttons, and you just map one of your back grip buttons to like F1 or something like that. So keyboard F1. Okay, so now if I press the back back button, see how it toggles it on and off. Yeah, that's that's uh not as not as good uh, because if you have the pro version, if you pay a few dollars, you can just go here and just click on it which I think is a lot better. Okay, let's go back to the game. Go back to the game and let's try it out. Try it out. This game is actually pretty good. So last time uh, when the game first came out yesterday, uh, I did a little uh, demonstration on it. Uh, I was playing the samurai, but uh, now I'm playing the ninja. So you can do a lot of stealth things. People were asking me, well, this game doesn't look like uh, an Assassin's Creed game because you know there's no stealth. Well, if you use the ninja, then you've got the stealth. Okay, so I'm doing the stealth right now. Okay. Uh, so I've got infinite health, so... Okay. 
So I think it's good to I show you infinite I health. I'll T to aim. Yeah, I want to just get hit. Okay. See that? See, I've got infinite health. The, the, the mod is working. Yep. That's how it's done on the Steam Deck. If you're playing with a launcher or Lutris or Heroic Games launcher. Okay. So let me show you how it's actually done. Okay, let me just exit it. Let me exit it. And here it is. So you can see... I've actually got my Ubisoft Connect running on Lutris. Okay. So what I did was, let's go back to desktop mode and I'll show you the magic. See you back in desktop mode. Okay, welcome back to desktop mode on my Steam Deck. So I've got the game on Lutris, you can see. So I'm going to open up Lutris first. Okay, so make sure you've, you've installed it. Okay, so on Lutris, you can see Ubisoft Connect. This is... Uh, like I installed Ubisoft Connect Launcher and then, you know, I run it. And then, so you can see in game options, this is where executable is. This is where, where the file is. So you need to get the path of, of this. Obviously, you need to know where, where it's located. So I'm just going to copy the path. Okay, so I changed it to launch.bat. It normally is launching the Ubisoft Connect.exe, but I changed it to launch.bat. So let me show you the magic. If I can like highlight it properly, I can't. <laughs> not, not very good at highlighting. Okay, copy. So open up your dolphin, your file manager, and okay. Oh, so I've already I've already got it here. So this is the path where it is. Okay, and then I downloaded mod engine. I'll leave a link to where to download mod engine. Okay, and I extracted it. It's just a zip file, and then you extract it. And here are all the mod engine files. So all I did was I copied this, the mod engine files, and I pasted it inside my Ubisoft game launcher. So I pasted it in here. So I'll, I need to overwrite right now because I've already done it. Overwrite. Okay. And then, and then I right click and I created a new text file. file text file. Okay, and I called it launch.bat. What I called it. You can call it whatever you want, something.bat. Okay, and I've got it right here. So once you've created your text file and inside, type this, start and then space, Ubisoft Connect.exe. So once you launch it, it launches the, the, the Ubisoft Connect launcher and then it also launches the mod engine and then start mod engine.exe. That's all you have to do. And then back over into your Lutris, make sure executable. Change it to like, it should say like Ubisoft Connect.exe or whatever launcher exe or your game exe. Change it to launch.bat here. Then save it. And yeah, that, that's basically it. And then you just launch the game. You launch the game and it will launch the Ubisoft Connect launcher and it'll also load mod engine. That's how you load them together. And that's how you recognize when you, once the game EXE is loaded, it recognizes. So you can see here, mod engine is loaded here. All right. So yeah, that's exactly how it's done. So let me know if you have any issues uh, with trainers. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I do a lot of trainer uh, videos. So if you've got trainer issues, let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.